In this video, I'm gonna teach you three steps you need to follow to perfect your first shot accuracy so you can go from making plays like this to making plays like this. You have a problem when it comes to taking fights. You either shoot too early when your crosser is not on your opponent or before you have fully stopped moving. Both of these two issues will keep you stuck. To fix these problems that are making you shoot before your bullets are able to land on your enemies is by following the ASS method. No, this isn't a curse word, but an acronym used to tell you to aim, stop, and then shoot. Let's talk about the first word, aim. While you're aiming, you're incredibly vulnerable since your crosshair is not yet on the target, which means you are not able to shoot. If we aren't able to shoot, then we can't defend ourselves, which makes us easy to kill. A lot of you who are stuck in gold and platinum think your enemies have insane aim, when in reality, you being easy to kill is the true problem. However, if we just simply move either left or right, we can become a hard target to kill, which will give us more time to aim and secure the kill onto our enemy. Now that our crosshair is on our enemy, we want to stop moving. To prevent panic, stay relaxed, as this is the part where players feel the most anxious. This anxiousness can cause your muscle tension to increase, which may cause your crosser to slightly move off target at the very last second. If you struggle with this, make sure that you are keeping it simple. Don't try to counter strafe if you suck at it since in Valorant, you can just release your key. This simple implication will prevent you from overthinking or panicking, allowing you to stay calm under the fire. If you wanna improve the control you have over your mouse, using tracking exercises similar to the one you see on screen will benefit you the most. If you're not sure if you struggle with this, I'd recommend downloading the guide Insight to see in-depth stats about your in-game performance. Insight will show you how to improve your stats like your aim, movement, and game sense through in-depth videos targeting the stats you struggle with the most. The best part is, these videos are created by myself, so be sure to download Insight today completely for free. The last thing you need to do after you've aimed and stopped is shoot. When shooting, consider the weapon you have, how far your enemy is, and what type of weapon your enemy has. With a Phantom, I'd shoot differently compared to if I were to have a Vandal or even a Ghost, since the Phantom is meant for spraying and the Vandal and Ghost, not so much. Allow me to dive deeper and explain how you must approach using the ASS method to prevent shooting before your crosser is on your target and shooting before you have fully stopped your movement. First, let's talk about shooting before your crosser is even on your target, which is a major aim and composure issue. Shooting too early in this regard looks like this. A lot of times, players who instantly crouch spray tend to suffer from this problem since they are in a state of panic, lacking a sense of composure. Take a look at this clip. Nice. Move uh, switch. Try to switch. One enemy remaining. Sky maybe. For the, for the, for the I'd say this student did a pretty good job in terms of not shooting before his crosshair was on the target when eliminating the enemy Clove and Killjoy. However, the two eliminations to the Sova and Reyna were a little sloppy. On the Sova, I would have preferred that the student gave himself time to aim before shooting by strafing to the right while adjusting his crosshair onto the Sova's head after being peaked. This would allow him to remain hard to kill, giving him more time to align his crosshair up for a more clean elimination. This would have worked since Silva started shooting right away, about to enter into a crouch spray. Unfortunately, our student panicked and took his first two shots as soon as Silva came onto his screen. Luckily, Toby got the kill. On the Reyna, this player made a huge mistake since his crosshair is not ready for this fight. Our player is aiming into the smoke, and instead, he should be aiming on the edge of the smoke since that is where Reyna can peek him from. Right before the smoke disappears, our player can then move his crosshair back into the middle of the smoke while moving to prepare for the enemy Reyna to be sitting within the smoke. Sadly, since our player was not prepared, the enemy Reyna peeked from the edge of the smoke and took away 79 health, leaving our player with only 13 health left. 
but luckily for King Toby, the Reyna is completely lost and turns away from him. Now, here's a quick example of what your aim should look like when you're using the ASS method. Notice how before taking the first shot, the student continues moving, buying himself more time to adjust his crosshair onto the enemy's head, being rewarded with a nice one tap. In order to do this consistently, here's an exercise you can do. Go into the range, select breach, alt all the bots except two to the side, and then come to this corner over here and eliminate one bot at a time calmly putting focus on sinking your eyes and your crosshair as if your crosshair is a pair of glasses. This is good to help you improve your visual target confirmation. Now let's move on to the next issue, shooting before you've fully stopped your movement, which is a big mechanical issue. Shooting too early in this regard looks like this. This issue is a strong tell that the player panics a lot in gunfights since they are not in control of their movement. Take a look at this clip. Monster on the loose. Gotcha, son. My oh, turn. Thank you. The first kill onto the clove was lucky since King Toby was moving back and forth while spraying his weapon. Luckily for him, he had a phantom and the RNG was on his side with this one. I'd recommend that Toby just releases his keys since the clove isn't a threat. His crosshair placement was basically perfect, so standing still and spraying at the clove's head would have given him a more clean elimination. On the second kill onto the clove, Toby is crouched on an off angle. This makes him very easy to kill if an enemy swings from the left side of the bomb site. What I would recommend here is that Toby gets comfortable shooting while standing up. This way, Toby can easily back out of a fight if a second enemy decides to swing. Now, here's a quick example of what your movement should look like when using the ASS method. This time, we're gonna see King Toby go absolutely crazy. Firstly, on the kill onto the sofa, I love how Toby is able to maintain good crosshair placement as he is peeking the sofa. Right before Toby goes for the shot, he instantly stops his movement, getting a clean one tap. Moving on to the second kill onto the enemy jet, Toby again shows excellent crosshair placement while moving onto B bomb site, clearing a link. Once he sees the enemy jet, he uses his movement to align his crosshair with the jet's head, stops, and then shoots, allowing him to get another clean one tap. I'm incredibly proud of Toby's progress as he went from plat to ascendant. Great work, brother. As for you, the viewer who struggles with your movement, try this exercise to have a better control over your movement when implementing the ASS method. Repeat the same steps as before, but this time we will be moving in between each bot we eliminate. While we are moving, this is when we want to perform all of our aiming. We do not want to stop moving until we have confirmed that our crosshair is on the target. Once we've made this confirmation, we may then stop and shoot, then rinse and repeat, focusing on the next target. Implementing the ASS method will not be easy. In the beginning, you'll die more often since you're trying to implement something new and your brain may wanna reject it. Just stick to using this method and understand that 70% of the time, you'll win your gunfights if the method is used properly. And 30% of the time, you'll die no matter what due to BS. Now, this 30% is higher than I would like, but it's this high since Riot allows a lot of BS in their game when it comes to the gun and movement mechanics. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe as it's totally free and join my Discord server where you can get free VOD reviews and book private one-on-one -on -one coaching where I will help you tackle your main issues and master the fundamentals of Valorant. Now that you fully understand how to implement the ASS method within your gameplay, I'd recommend watching this video next. Deuce, deuce everyone.